Hi, my name is Anna Grace Raddick. I ran for the 9th Congressional District. This is my second video for Director James Comey of the FBI. So I I'd made that other video comparing uh, the life insurance deaths of military veterans, police, and their families, and the money laundering that was uncovered by Governor Cuomo to the Benghazi deaths. In Benghazi, the soldiers were left behind. There is a parallel when law enforcement and this country refuses to address this problem. These individuals who gave their lives for their country and stood up when they were called to service are insulted by having their lives snuffed from them. Sometimes they know about it beforehand too, just as I do, because I'm being threatened by 2026 for life insurance. This is a horrible thing to go through, and I think it's wrong. It's immoral on every level. And it's going to take a lot more people to care about this issue. I'm surprised going around the government that not more people feel morally responsible to address this problem. It would actually be easily addressed with an ID program that I came up with that would be available through local police, working with the FBI and, uh, and um, uh, the U.S. Marshals to produce a new ID for victims that, where they could live in their hometown with their family and friends. Also, I did go to Manhattan at the request of the FBI locally, and I went to try to speak with MetLife. They wouldn't speak with me. There are so many ways that they could move their money around without hiring people to kill people, whether they be servicemen or regular citizens. This is a huge problem. In fact, I'm, a, I'm what's called, I guess, a black swan. I wasn't supposed to be speaking about this and telling people about this. This was an accident. I found out about it, and I am speaking up, which has been very difficult, but I'm doing it in the hopes that people do address this problem. This has a lot of significance in the homeland and abroad. It is a future of humanity problem. People being killed in such a widespread manner, willy-nilly, for no reason, um, for life insurance is a disgusting abuse of capitalism. Um, it's treating people as if they're commodities and not individuals and human beings. It's treating people like they're slaves. Slaves to be cracked open for life insurance to free funds. I think that corporations like MetLife and Prudential need to show more corporate responsibility. They need to go in there and look at exactly what they're doing. I spoke with them on July 15th, 2015. I spoke with their fraud department at MetLife and they admitted to doing this. I said, why don't you take numbers of people who nat die naturally in obituaries? I used to read newspapers cover to cover and I know in New York newspapers it can be up to 100 obituaries on the weekend especially. And they said that they did it for a time, but the Social Security Administration won't get them full numbers anymore. They only get the last four digits.